How y'all doing, my R. Kelly fans and supporters? This is your girl, Casey McDaniel, coming to you with a prayer request. I'm coming to you with a prayer request today because souls are on the line. Souls are on the line. Some of our R. Kelly supporters are fighting with some demons right now. I see a lot of us going back and forth to that Team Truth side, listening to Larry, grown man, and his commentary. I said time and time again, stay off that platform. That is the devil's den. If you want to continue to go forward in this fight to win on our, for Robert Sylvester Kelly, you got to stop listening to these people. You can't allow them to get into your ears and down into the ears is like the gateway to your heart. So you have to be careful what you allow to get into your ears. You have to be careful listening to those kind of that kind of talk because after a while it start messing with your spirit, have you all crazy and fighting and cause all kind of confusion and you get into these combative discussions. I say these things time and time again. Do not go on the enemy's side listening to them. Don't even go looking for them. Don't even bring them in your place. And I and, and I say to the Bosky Gun, that was a great thing he did, regardless of how he did it, how he had to handle those demons that were coming on his platform and saying things and how he had to just go at them. How he had to go at them. Don't stop doing what you're doing, the Bosky. I'm not mad at you, even though some people didn't like the conversation, the, the content, but they brought you out of your character like that because you were talking of some, inf you was given information for us to hear without interruptions. Because there's some people that don't know some of these things about indictments and how to read indictments and what these charges are being, you know, calculated as. I, I didn't know. And I learned something from all of that. And I was being interrupted by them coming on there saying these things or whatever. If they don't want to hear it, then bye. Don't come over here. That's the way I feel. Don't come over here. Don't interrupt my other people that uh, in this audience of mine who wants to hear this stuff, who needs to hear this stuff, who needs to learn about these things. Is If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. So anyway, back to what I'm saying about prayer is souls are on the line. People's souls are really troubled right now. And I just went um, on, I just saw in um, phases community post, some things she was saying about going over there to grown men. And now I'm hearing phases saying things that I never heard come out of her mouth before. Cuss words. I never heard phases use those that language. Never. But by her going on that platform is bringing these things out of her spirit. The same thing I say, even though I say, I love Levi. I love Levi. But I say, Levi, stay off those people's platform. If you rocking for cows and you fighting for cows, don't confuse people's minds like that. Don't put people in confusion like that. Stay away from those people. Those people are evil. They are out for this man's life to be in prison. And you can't listen to that stuff. You believe in R. Kelly innocence. You believe in it and you stand on it. I say that to everybody. Dana wants to throw, oh, I want to come. Don't go back at them. R. Kelly is coming home soon. And we want to keep our minds in prayer. We want to stay in prayer for him. We don't want to be distracted by them. Go into the scriptures. When you feel things are troubling your mind, go to God and pray about it. Don't go to Larry Grown.